Hi, my name is John Boylan, and I want to welcome you to a screening of this work by actors from the Ryerson Theatre School this year, 2009, and last year, 08, and from the York University Theatre School uh, undergrad and graduate acting class. This is all on-camera work, and uh, it's the first time the actors are going to have a chance to see the work that they did in those four classes. It's a unique project, uh, how we came up with this work, because I'm a part-time instructor at both of those schools, and um, there's either 39 hours or 36 hours in the courses. And the issue is how to best serve the actors um, in a short course like that. It's unique because most of the work isn't done in class. What we've done is set up like a production company where we're shooting on set and allowing the graduate actors the chance to work in a typical on-set shooting environment. The work that we did, the work that I've chosen to do, is, is something that I think is most beneficial to them because it's the kind of work we do as professional actors, which is television scenes, typical television scenes, and commercials. So rather than having time where the actors um, begin to work in front of the camera, most of them were thrust on set and had to rehearse and block and do all the scenes right on the spot. So they were given that responsibility of doing what I would call professional work on camera uh, in a situation that replicated a professional film shoot. I think in the viewing of this work it's important to uh, keep our brains, our eyes uh, in proper perspective here. We're so used to watching film and television with all of its production values. This is work done where we're trying to have the highest production values we can, but um, we don't really have a budget to have full production values. I'm not making any excuse for the work, but if we watched a presentation of scenes or speeches at a drama school in a classroom, it's understood that this is where it's at. It's not a full performance in a theater. As soon as we put something up on the screen or on a monitor, our brains are so used to ex a level of expectation. And here, I think we want to watch actors working on camera nearly for the first time. How are they dealing with that? Uh, how, do they, how do they understand what a typical TV scene is or, or what's needed in a TV commercial? How do, how do they deal with all of the uh, exigencies of, of this particular work? So I think that's important in the watching of this, to watch it as a playback of what we shot. This isn't a screening of a film we made. We didn't make a film. In a theater school, if you're going to put on a play, you would have the rehearsal, and then you have the performance for the audience. And the performance for the audience is the end of that full circle of work. So I think it's important in the on-camera training at drama schools for the actors to see finished work. Could be rough footage, some of what we're going to see tonight is just is just work, they're just scenes, they're just takes, but also some of it is edited. And I think that is an important end to it. It's the performance. It also helps your brain to begin to understand what role the actor plays in the making of a movie or a commercial or, or a TV series. So um, the screening will help, will help fulfill that, that goal. I want to thank the actors so, so much for uh, their hard work. Everybody worked hard. Everybody had a good attitude, a serious attitude, a professional attitude, jumped in, and nobody was afraid to move sandbags or hold a boom pole and it was really terrific and I enjoyed working with everybody and I want to thank two teachers um, for their assistance Perry Schneiderman at the Ryerson Theatre School and Michael Grayeyes at uh, the York Theatre School thanks very much